start tonight with the big breaking developments. The chief of fake news CNN, soon to be scandal plague, Jeff Sucker, he has a new obsession. And here's what we mean. Profanity laced 24-7 coverage that would make a sailor blush is no longer enough for Jeff Zucker and his liberal fake news cohorts, while the bleephole network is now looking for new ways to outdo this despicable coverage up to date. Now, you may remember some of this. Is there a difference if the president said, uh, hole in the house? Do you think these countries are holes? Donald Trump has turned the Oval Office into a hole 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 country. Rich, do you have an example of any whole country that the president referred to that is predominantly Caucasian? Hole holes hole I work for hole 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 I'm proud to be a now, part of that is funny, but it's also really sad. According to the Media Research Center, fake news CNN, they dropped the bleep hole 195 times in one day during their round-the-clock bleep hole obsessed coverage. But now that depravity, that's not good enough. So Jeff Zucker is now trying a new tactic to hold up his ever-sinking and shrinking audience. Take a look. The so-called Facts First Network has a new fixation. It's like softcore porn. That's right, this is CNN. Well, after the pathetic Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy blew up in their faces, CNN is going absolutely wild, wall-to-wall -wall speculation about a consensual relationship between the president going back 12 years or so ago with a former porn star or current porn star, Stormy Daniels. It's Stormy 24-7. Now take a look at what CNN now considers journalism. Stormy Daniels, I know you've heard a ton about that, and we have to see where that case goes and what this interview is about. Well, is, is that possible to come up in the Stormy Daniels lawsuit? Will she be able to say, hey, look, this lawyer is involved with a whole bunch of different things here. This could be the last nail in the coffin. Yeah. Stormy Daniels is causing stormy weather. Porn star Stormy Daniels claims President Trump broke the law, had her bullied. Does Stormy Daniels have the president's number? It sure seems that way. President Trump might have met his match uh, with Stormy Daniels. How is Stormy weathering this? Stormy speaks. We're hearing quite a bit from Stormy Daniels. Stormy, in her own words, isn't going anywhere. Stormy Daniels has a good lawyer. The porn star Stormy Daniels was telling the truth. Stormy Daniels is on a tear. Quick preview of Stormy Daniels' interview this Sunday. Breaking news that Stormy Daniels. 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 The reason he can't engage with Stormy Daniels is because she's got his number. And even a porn star can't quite satisfy Jeff Zucker's new obsession. Anderson Cooper tracked down Karen McDougal, former Playboy playmate. Well, she is alleging that she had a consensual relationship with Donald Trump over a decade ago. But pay close attention to Anderson Cooper's kind of creepy questions during this interview. Take a listen. You'd work for Playboy for some time. You could see him looking at you. Would he, would he call you? He would call me, I would call him, vice versa. So you had his phone number. When he called, did his number show up on the phone? Were you attracted to him? So the, the sex was consensual. You, you said it you sort of ended on a, a strange note. So <clears throat> what, what happened after you had been intimate? Did he actually try to hand you money? Did he ever compare you to any of his kids? I mean, this is a hard question to ask, and, but you, you said you had had sex that first time. All these times you saw him, this was an ongoing sexual relationship. Absolutely. Can you estimate how many times you actually saw him? Yes. You were intimate yes. dozen, many dozens mm -hmm. of times. Um, this is another tough question, um, and again, you don't have to answer it, but it's been raised with other people. Um, did he ever use protection? This went on two hours, an alleged consensual relationship. Oh, and she voted for Donald Trump. Uh, Jeff Zucker, is this what you consider journalism from your top so-called news anchor? Are you really proud of this? We can only assume that you are because that is all your fake news network has now been covering for about two straight weeks. And fake news CNN, they're not alone. The entire liberal mainstream media has been salivating over this every single day and every detail. And of course, this isn't even the case. Remember when it came to Bill Clinton's accusers? Very different stories. For decades, the mainstream media has either completely ignored or barely covered the stories of Juanita Broderick, Paula Jones, Kathleen Willey. In fact, take a look at how Clinton's sycophant, Andrea Mitchell, tried to smear and discredit Juanita Broderick during the 2016 election in reaction to an interview we did with then-candidate Donald Trump. Take a look. It's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. 
Donald Trump using that word unprompted during an interview last night with Fox News' Sean Hannity, bringing up a discredited and long-denied accusation against former President Bill Clinton, dating back to 1978 when he was Arkansas Attorney General. Andrew is just disgraceful. And what is even worse is NBC edited their online version of that clip and removed Andrea Mitchell using the word discredited. And by the way, take a look at some of these numbers from the Media Research Center. 1994, remember Paula Jones? She came forward with details about Bill Clinton sexually harassing her and exposing himself to her. She didn't know him. Now, CBS, NBC, they totally ignored the story. ABC gave it a whopping 16 seconds of coverage. And then in 1997, when Paula Jones' legal team subpoenaed Kathleen Willey, well, CBS and NBC, they gave it a paltry 1 minute 34 seconds of coverage. ABC, well, they didn't bother to even do the story. And that same day, CNN, their evening newscast, spent a whopping 26 seconds on the story. And in 1998, when news broke about Juanita Brock Broderick accusing Bill Clinton of raping her, ABC, CBS, they didn't care. NBC did spend seven minutes covering the story as they should have. This is all shameful, and it proves just how abusively biased, hypocritical the media in this country is. The Media Research Center, they searched their archives, and they found these examples of the liberal press attacking Paula Jones. Remember, she won her lawsuit against Bill Clinton. Take a look. Yes, yes, the case was is being fomented by right-wing nuts. And yes, she's not a very credible witness. And it's really not a law case at all. I think she's a dubious witness. I really do. We've got an awful lot to talk about this week, including the uh, sexual harassment suit against the president. Of course, and that one stuff to figure out who's really being harassed. Is she not trying to, to, to capitalize on this, in, in effect, to, to, to profit from impugning the president? I have to profess complete confusion over this entire case, why this is even a case. Now, the media covering for Bill Clinton gets even worse. In January of 99, NBC News reporter Lisa Meyer, she taped the first exclusive interview with Juanita Broderick. I had the second interview with Juanita Broderick. Back then, Washington Post, they reported that instead of airing that interview right away, NBC News president Andy Lack, other top executives, sat on that interview for over a month. At the time, NBC News claimed that they could not corroborate Broderick's accusations, so the interview did not air until February. Now, while all of this was going on and NBC was trying to bury the story, well, our colleague here at the Fox News Channel, Britt Hume, and his panelists right here, they actually wore free Lisa Meyer's buttons on air to encourage NBC to run this interview, you know, since they were sitting, of course, on a major news story. Now, that shows you just how far all of these liberal networks will go to protect the Clintons. They have now been doing it for decades. Now, let's compare all of that to the coverage that CNN is now devoting to Stormy Daniels and this former Playboy bunny. Take a look at the chart. Media Research Center, March 7th, alone. CNN spent 149 minutes obsessing over Stormy between 5 p.m. and midnight, and that's from just a couple of weeks ago. The hypocrisy is beyond stunning. The liberal media doesn't want to listen to what any of Bill Clinton's accusers have to say. Well, they don't want you to know that Bill Clinton confronted Paula Jones in a hotel room and put his pants down and exposed himself. That's not consensual. And on the other hand, we actually care about the truth on these programs. We think these women should have been heard. And here's what Paula Jones told me. Take a look. We did some small talk, and then he started... Um kind of getting a little comfortable and trying to, um, he said that he loved the way my hair flowed down my back of, of my clothes and he liked my curves. Then he leaned up and he pulled me up towards him and he was going to try to kiss on me. And so then I tried to distract him again. I was trying to, and I thought, what am I doing? My mind is racing. I said, well, I may need to be going or something. And next thing you know, he pulled down his, he sat down, pulled pulled down his pants, his whole everything, and he was exposed. And I said, I'm not that kind of girl, and I need to be getting back to my, to my desk. In the era of Me Too, that's not consensual. Here's another thing the media won't tell you about Paula Jones. Bill Clinton, he lost. He ended up paying over $850,000 in a court settlement, out-of-court settlement. And that scandal also resulted in a five-year suspension of Bill Clinton's law license, and he was impeached. Then there's Kathleen Willey. She says that in the Oval Office, Bill Clinton groped and grabbed and fondled and kissed Kathleen Willey against her will. Here's how she described it to me as well. Take a look. 
No woman should be subjected to it. But it you, was an assault. He assaulted you. Yes. He, he and you. He touched, grabbed, fondled, yes. and kissed you yes. against against your will. Yes. And it's an allegation that is not made by one woman. It's made by multiple. Many women. of us. And then there's Juanita Broderick. She accused Bill Clinton of raping her in a hotel room back in 1978. This was one of the hardest interviews I ever did. Take a look. You described the scene where he was biting on your lip, and then when it was all over, he was leaving. I said, you better put some ice on that. Yeah, and casually put on his sunglasses and walked out the door. And I've told my friend who came back and found me that I was sitting there crying and so upset at the time. And I felt like somebody, that the next person would be somebody coming through the door to get rid of the body. That's just about how I had absolutely, uh, couldn't believe what had happened to me. You begged them to stop. Yes. Rape, groping, grabbing, fondling, touching, kissing against a woman's will, exposing oneself, very serious allegations, but the liberal mainstream media barely covered those stories. Now, on Monday night, Kathleen, Willie, and Paula Jones, and Juanita Broderick, they will join us on this program. And